Hi everybody, this is Xiaoyao from Yunnan Sosen. Today we are going to drink a 2018 Yunnan Sosen Year of Dog Blue Label. And uh, <laughs> this is the tea. The wrapper is very cool. So we are going to get Scott and let him try uh, what's this and uh, if he can get it. Come here, buddy. We got a new friend here, friend. Yeah, he's a stray dog that somebody dumped her near our house. We couldn't find his owner. We don't have a name for him yet. What, what should we name him? <laughs> Lucy kind of likes him, but sometimes doesn't like him. Okay, buddy. Is anybody no need a dog? Yeah. Let us know. We're shipping to you. Free shipping. Yeah. <laughs> Only free shipping we offer. Okay. <laughs> if somebody gets three, uh, 300 tea from us, you get a free dog and free shipping. Right? <laughs> 300 what? Dollars. US oh, dollars. 300 teas? Okay. <laughs> You have to buy 300 tea cakes from us. Okay. He's a Are really you good dog, actually. Yeah. He's a really good dog. But do you want to move over a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay. There. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm feeling lucky. Lucky? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Hope you... Uh, looks like sh uh, ripe for What's up? What are you doing? You smell my shoes Um. Yeah, so what's been going on? Summer is passing by. We're finally listing our um, the rest of our 2018 raw cakes, which have all finally been pressed and photographed and tested, and they're ready. Yeah, a lot of good teas. Yeah. Keep eye on the yeah. new products. Mm -hmm. I just listed the Bingdao Lao Jai. That is good. Yeah. Very good. Very expensive. But that's kind of how it works. The good tea is never cheap. Where'd Lucy go? She's a... Uh, Lucy's been a little bit depressed since this guy, little guy, showed up. He's 10... The vet says that he's 10 months old. Um, he, we tested him for heartworm. No heartworm. He got all his shots. He didn't have a microchip, of course. Um, seems unlikely that the person that dumped him would microchip him first, but um, he's a good dog. He's real quiet. He's not, you know, he's not aggressive or anything. Yeah, she's, he is sweet. He's a sweet dog. He doesn't he, seem like he's like been abused or anything. Maybe like, I don't know, it's hard to say, but he doesn't seem skittish or anything. Seems pretty normal. Yeah. But okay. Lucy, does, <laughs> Lucy doesn't care. So Lucy is very jealous. He's a... Just a push Lucy. He's pushing hard. Lucy don't mm. like him that much. This is good. Okay. I know what it is. Already? No, I, no, I don't. This is hard, you know? I feel like I drink teas like I know when I like a tea and if I drink a tea like when I'm blending teas every day and I'm drinking the tea every day and I'm separately drinking them, drinking them together and I can really focus on them but then if I don't drink them for a while like I can't really, I can remember if I liked it, I can remember if it was strong yeah, or some basic things about it but I can't remember like the exact taste you know. I have to, it's really not so easy. 
Well, that's you yeah, drink but so many different kind. I think it's also kind of hard to put words to it. This is the tea soup. Can you see it? I can see it. I'm not sure you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty clear, actually. Yes. That's why this one will be difficult for you. Why? Why? You will know why later. I will tell you why. <laughs> this is my last chance. This is the. Ep I think this is the episode five. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've done okay. So good luck. Thanks. Hmm. It's good. Something you want sharing? Um It's nice. It's got a it's got like a little spiciness. It's got a chocolatey kind of taste. It's very crisp. It doesn't have much wet pile taste. It has a bit, but not a lot. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let's keep going. Yes. Oh, he's so cute. But seriously, if anybody wants a dog. Yeah. We like him, but we do not want two dogs. And most of all, Lucy. Queen Lucy says no. She's been pretty okay though. She hasn't like, you know, attacked him like outright. Yes, she's just she's growled a, at him. Yeah. <laughs> growls at him about 50 times a day. And he doesn't really seem to care. He like backs up and then he's like, whatever, you yeah. know. It's sweet. Yeah. No, the tea is sweet. Oh. <laughs> he is sweet too. Yeah, he just showed up. Hmm, this is really good. Yes. But you know what this is. Of course I know. You know what this tea is. I know, of course I know. I can't wait for the next. So when we're done with this, <sighs> it's going to be your turn again. Do, yeah. Do what? To guess. Guess what? What kind of tea? Sheng Cha. <laughs> Sheng Poor. <laughs> I, I can't, I don't think I can do that. Yeah, we only have like a thousand Sheng Poors in yeah. our library. Pretty sure you can tell them all apart. I probably can guess like, you know, what area. Yeah? But maybe if I, you know, tried very hard, but I definitely <laughs> will be hard for me like what which year you know exactly what village yeah that's hard very hard yep life is hard <sighs> tea life <laughs> wow it's really sweet So you have to thinking, just, you know. Thinking? I don't like thinking. If you want. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel the tea. Did you and feel? Gonna, yeah. What's this? I don't know, keep, you're just distracting me. Um, I need, <laughs> you know, get some. If I don't get it right, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's my fault <laughs> because I'm pushy, pushy you. It doesn't really matter. Of course it's matter. <laughs> if it's not matter while well, we're doing this, right? I'm just trying to take the pressure down a little. Feeling, you know. Look. Can I look at the leaves? Sure. Hmm. Yes. The tea soup. This is a uh, this nice. yeah. It's very beautiful. 
it's like dark curls. Hmm. Nice. This is like actually a light, relatively light fermentation tea here. You can still see a lot of green in there. Mm. It's really like got a real pungent, sweet, um, it's not vegetal at all. It's really, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's like a strong, strong tea. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have much bitterness or anything like that. But it's a very enjoyable. Right? Enjoyable. In enjoyable. It's mm -hmm. very tasty, sweet, mm -hmm. and have a is. It has a little bit of rich. a bite to it. it. Has a little. It does have a little vegetal, you know, like green shunk shunk aspect to it still. Oh my gosh! What's going on? What's going on? You didn't sleep in good last night. Mm, I could have slept better. I, wait. I got about Sorry. 10 sugar bites yesterday. All around my crotch. Don't which, share in that. Well, <laughs> it's not like I did something wrong or something, you know. I just, I was cleaning out the, well, the pump house. The, we have like a little building that has like a well and a pressure tank and all that stuff and it's full of wasps and like it's never been cleaned out and the fiberglass insulation is like falling out onto the floor and I went in there and with a mask on and things over my eyes and it's like still like 90 degrees outside probably hotter in there and I cleaned it up and I protected myself really well. And then I got in the shower, I got out of the shower and I had like 10 chigger bites. And I was like, like I can't ever not. And people are always inviting us to go places and like, oh, let's go see the concert in the park. And I'm like, <gasps> no, if it, if it involves sitting on the grass in Texas, I'm not doing it unless I, but then Shayal suggested I get those Tyvek, <laughs> like, you know, onesie suits, suits that they yeah. use for like you know crawling around in crawl spaces and things like that and i was like yeah well i could use that <laughs> if we wanted to go to the park that would be really weird that would be very hot in austin it wouldn't be so weird though but people would think you, that was cool but it, w it <sighs> will be like super hot i could paint it and put a number on it yeah that's why i wouldn't do it because it would be like a 20 degrees hotter in there. Hmm. Yeah, why? Because you didn't brew it very strong. Are you trying to trick me? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to It's funny because, you know, Shaya and I were actually thinking like, I don't know, many, many years ago in China, when we, still, when we were still full time in China, that we would have our own TV show like our own web show or something where it was like you know the odd couple like half like half the show would be in you know like chinglish and the other half would be like in you know hua and it would just be like you know all the funny relationship problems between foreigners and chinese or foreigners i'm the foreigner <laughs> and you know it's really funny though I've noticed that um, a lot of Chinese that we meet over here like Chinese students you know um, they actually refer to Americans as Waigoran even though they're in America Waigoran means like foreigners so they refer to Americans like locals as foreigners I <laughs> which I I'm not offended by that, but I, I do find it a little bit odd and, and kind of funny. So, you're losing the chance. Brew it stronger. I'm doing that. Okay. Yeah, anyways, I thought that was kind of funny. But. So, 
Do you want to talk about them more? Mm, sweet. There's definitely some earthy components. I'm kind of thinking that this is the 2018 Yunnan Sourcing Blue Label cake because I've been drinking that quite a bit recently. It reminds me of that. It might not be that because actually those teas were used. It's that cake is a 2013 and 2015 um, teas that were used to press that cake, even though it's a 2018 tea. Um, but because we've used those teas in other batches too, and we've, you know, I mean, it could be, it could be a lot of things really, <laughs> but that would be my gut. But let's, let's wait. I'm not going to call it yet. But okay. anyways, why go in? Stop it. I just think that, you know, you guys are white water from outside the U.S. White okay, water. I don't care. You can call me white water. I won't call you Lao Wai. <laughs> because I'm so young. So is Lao Wai, is that like a rude term? Mm -hmm. You think? Kind of, it is now. Lao Wai is like a, a lot of Chinese would refer to foreigners in China as Lao Wai which means like old foreigner or no old. i don't know i think if i say lao wai i i don't know maybe it's not i don't think it's rude but depends what kind of you know right but you wouldn't refer to somebody that you know as a lao wai if somebody i know i will call their name i'm not saying well you, you know. say my husband is a lao wai if no. you're telling people, no. you just won't say anything, right? No, I will say my husband is a white guy. He's a I okay. won't say Lao Wai or a white guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Should I say? Should I say that? Should I tell Do people? Do you even tell people you have a husband? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> Well, not, what are you looking at? I'm looking at your ring. Make sure it's still on there. Oh, anyways. I'm not like telling everybody I'm married, you know? I'm trying to keep the episode interesting and, and lively because I'm not going to get this tea right. I can feel it. Yeah. You're weak. Okay, this one is... Um... Actually, I do feel weak. Well, this dog, having two dogs in the house, so after seven years of only having Lucy, it's kind, yeah. of, it's kind of stressful. Especially after a while they fight. Can I fight. have all this? I want to, sure. I really need to. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you reboil the water? No, I can't. Just don't have to do it. You can't? How oh, I can't. Oh, your Look. microphone. Oh. oh my gosh. I know. I'm slow. Luckily I have you. <laughs> Keep me out of trouble. Stop it. I'm calling it. No, we're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait. She's gonna push this last brew. We're gonna talk some more. <clears throat> um, okay. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of the same. I remember in China walking around and you'd see kids and they'd be like, hello. Like they didn't know, they didn't know any other English. And they'd be Hi, like, oh, hello. <laughs> I just like totally wanted to laugh. Very, very friendly. Yeah. You know, but it's really interesting because I noticed that, oh, there's Lucy. I noticed that in different areas of China, people are more reserved. Like I felt like in Yunnan, well, I really noticed it when I went to like Sichuan and some other places, but like remote places, like really remote places in Yunnan, people will notice you, but they won't like stare at you or like stop or like point or whatever. You know what I mean? But then when I went to like rural Sichuan and, and 
there, like people were, were much more like kind of like pointing sometimes and more, you know, like it was people were a little bit less reserved. Yeah. You know, seeing a foreigner there. I thought that was interesting. But I do remember the first time I went to China in 1996, I was in G9 in Shandong province. Missy? And I went to go try to buy some vegetables. And there was like literally like a crowd of like a hundred people watching me try to bargain. I mean, I spoke a tiny bit of Chinese trying to bargain for vegetables, which was stupid because I mean, they were like, you know, qi bao qian. Yeah. You know, but. It was more just, you know, wanting to try to buy things. I just remember there was like a crowd of like a hundred people just standing around watching me, you know. Uh, and, yeah, I and, think that time is not many foreigners. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I mean, I, there were so many people that I met. And even after the 2000s when I was in, in there that I met that had never, ever met a foreigner in real life before, mm -hmm. ever. And had never met a non-Chinese person in their whole life. And when you encounter that person it's like wow that's like i'm the first one I'm like sorry i hope it's not a disappointment you know like i try to be you know reserved and nice and you know i don't want to make a bad impression since i think know. a lot of people in my hometown like older people they also never see a foreigner before yeah that's i remember uh scott uh, or wedding our wedding day, a lot of people like standing the, next to the hotel, looking at us. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, even in Jiangtuan, even in two thousand, was it two thousand twelve? You know, just people had never, you know, seen foreigners before, except on yeah. TV or whatever. But yeah, there's not a lot of the the penetration of Western culture into China really. It's very exterior, you know, like all the trappings of the, the Western culture and the movie, some of the movies and the products and the brands and all that. But yet you'll s encounter people even today who have never, ever met a foreigner before. And, you know, yeah. it's, I think the it's people very, from like, you know, Jiangtuan, there's they see foreigners, but not many. But people from my village, yeah. like some old people, they never see yeah. one. I think there's more now because of the lake. The, the lake. There's a beautiful lake near um, where Shaya grew up called Fuxianhu. Yeah. And it's a very, very deep lake. And it was protected. I think it was like a military zone until like the late 90s or something. And then it was so it was protected. And even now, and then they, it went from being a protected area to being an environmentally protected area. And so like the fishing is only allowed on the lake once a year on Christmas actually. And people have to pay a bunch of money to go out on the lake and fish and they have like fishing, you know, they can haul back as much as they want. And, um, and it's a super deep lake. It's I think it's the deep. second uh, deep Dan Shui Hu in China. It's the second deepest lake yeah. in China, yeah, and it's very yeah. clean water. Yes, it's very if clean. If you ever go to Yunnan and you go to Kunming area, yeah. you can get to Fuxianhu in probably about, what, an hour and 20 minutes maybe? Mm, one and a half hour. One and a half hours, yeah. yeah. So you can get out there and then there's boats. There's an island there Yeah. that's actually not too far from the shore. There's an island um, and you can get boats out there. They're rowboats. And they'll row you out there, and there's temples out there, and there's actually a hotel out there. I don't know if it's still open, but they for a while they had a hotel that was that was opened there, and you can stay on the island. Yeah, I don't um, remember. What's the name of the island again? Gu Dao. Gu Dao. Yeah, yeah. It's, right. Gu is like ancient. Yeah, Gu is the single. Oh, Gu Du the Gu. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Gu Dao. Gu Du is like means solitary or or. Um, yeah, Gu Shan. It's very quiet. Yeah, Gu Shan Gu Dao. Yeah, very very beautiful. Um, but anyways, yeah. <sighs> Stop it. It's my special secret technique for discovering which tea I'm drinking. Okay. I you, know. You got to guess yeah, now. I if you got wrong, I will let you know what's that. Is it in that box? Yes. Okay. It's going to be the 2018 um, Year of the Dog Blue Label. 
I'm pretty familiar with this tea. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Oh, it feels like the right size. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm pretty familiar with this tea. It's nice. It's actually changed in the last, I mean, it's, I think it's been a, I don't know, a week or so even since I drank it, and it's changed quite a bit. Um, so again, this is uh, the 2013 and 2015 teas um, that we had in our warehouse. We bought them in 2013, 2015, yeah. blended them together and created this. This is actually one of our larger uh, productions, um, several, actually several hundred kilos. Yes. And we were we were gonna blend with this, that, and the other thing, and um, we decided to just blend blend it all, blend both of them together, and make some space because we've you know we've always got new teas yeah. coming in, and of course pressed teas use less space than uh, yes. than than uh, than loose leaf teas. But I highly recommend this. This is a really nice. I would say. I would say the pros of this tea would be um, really smooth. Um, it basically has no wet pile taste because it's five and three years old. Yeah. Um, it's gonna improve over time too because it's a you know light fermentation. If you look at the leaf, it's relatively medium to light um, uh, uh, wet piling, so that the leaf still got green and. You know, it's kind of nice chocolate, it's smooth, it doesn't, it's it's not like chalky, it doesn't, it's not drying, um, it's very like lubricating. Yes. Um, and I would say the only thing, the only con, the con, or the, you know, the only drawback of this tea is it's not as infusible as some mm -hmm. ripe teas. Um, it's more infusible than a lot of ripe teas, but it's less than maybe some of our more premium ones like the Hoi Run or something like that mm -hmm. or Crimson Rooster. Yeah. But it's, you know, given given its age and how smooth it is and how drinkable it is and the price, I yes, think. Yes, the price is good. It's pretty solid mm -hmm. as, a tea, as, a, as a daily drinking tea and one that will age and improve as well. So, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely check it out. This yeah. is the Year of the Dog Blue Label. I managed to get it. Xiao threw me a bone, as it were. Um, let me off easy because I have been drinking this one fairly regularly um blending it and then as it since it came out so but yeah this is a this is a great tea yeah do you, do do you, you want to add anything or why don't you talk about something the descent the oh yeah yeah um nice we did reflective here the design is by giovanni uh, crispino um a customer of ours in italy who sent us uh, several designs and we decided to use this one um, I kind of like wanted to call it like Temple of the Dog because it's it has almost like an Egyptian type feel to it. You've got, you know, the dogs on each side. Kind of looks like a Doberman, might be a Doberman. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, really nice design. They're really simple, really stands out. I'm really hoping that um, Giovanni will give us some more designs uh, for yeah. the design contest that's coming up. Um, I guess January in next year. What's yeah. next year? What's next year? Uh, what animal? I, I think it's pig. Oh, okay. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be a lot pig. of fun. Yeah. There would be some great designs, I'm sure. Yes, yes, pig. pig. Okay. Yes. Great. Well, anyways, um, if anybody's interested in a dog, come here, buddy. I know you're sleeping. Oh, he's just, I was sleeping. He's just, oh, 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 oh. Ah. oh. Sit still. Here you go, buddy. He's a very cute boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's around 10 months old. Yeah, 10 months old. Very mellow. Um, gets along with other dogs. If you're at all interested, let us know. Yeah. Um, I've gotten his shots, and I'll, I'll have him um, neutered before we send him to you, if you're interested. But, you know. Either, that, either way, we're going to find a home for him, so, you know. He's okay. not exactly suffering right now, so. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I know you're tired and I just picked you up. Okay. He says. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. And Thank you. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time.